Those pylons are the high voltage lines which are going through the campus. Uh, there is one line which is a 110 volt line and the other line is a 220 kilovolt line. And the 110 kilovolt line is a line which goes from Chembur to Kopoli. And from there we have established a line in, line out towards the Tata power station, which you can see there. So we stepped down the 110 kilovolt to 33 kV. And the 33 kV is stepped down again to the next building, which is the Tuko power station. That is a power distribution company owned by the Hiranandani group. Uh, Tuko receives power at 33 kilovolt and steps it down to 11 kilovolt. And the 11 kilovolt is sent into this building along both sides of the driveway. So if you look at the driveway down there, you can see on both sides, we have these trenches, concrete trenches, which are 10 feet deep. Uh, N number of cables come on one side and N number of cables come on to the other side of the building. If you have a utility failure, we have a huge amount of generators which are right before the building here. So these are all uh, 2250 kilovolt generators, KVA generators. And uh, we have 32 of them built in here. So we have a huge diesel tank here, which has got a capacity of 6 lakh litres. And we have two pumps, one pump here and the other pump on the other side. So there are two pipelines on either side and each generator gets one feed from this pipeline and a second feed from that pipeline. So we make sure that we maintain a redundancy even in the supply of diesel to these generators. We don't use any cables in this building. So all the power output from the generators is on bus trunking system. These bus trunks come in here and ride this bridge and go right into the building. So there are 16 of them on this side and 16 of them on the other bridge on the other side. So that if anything goes down from this side, we still have uh, bus trunks available to us on the other side of the building. We have two 11 kV lines coming up here. One 11 kV comes up here. The second 11 kV comes up here. And from here, the outgoing goes to the transformer there. That's the transformer panel. This receives voltage at 11,000 volts and steps it down to 415 and sends it to the output panel here. So that 415 comes here. The generator which is corresponding to this particular transformer is connected here. So if you have a utility failure here, the crank signal goes out from here and we receive power back here and the output power goes to the particular load using these bus trunk systems here. We don't have electrical cables. We have these aluminum bus bar trunks. These bus bars transport power from the individual transformer rooms to the load wherever they are placed. So we are on the third floor and uh, this is the power floor. In Jota, we have a very different way of doing things. Every odd floor is your power floor. That's a third, fifth, seventh, ninth, etc. And your server halls are the even numbers. The four, the six, eight, keep on going with that. So this floor, which is the third floor, feeds power to the fourth floor the 5th to the 6th floor and the 7th to the 8th floor and likewise. Rows and rows of panels. We have these uh, modular systems from Schneider. These are the control units and we have 4 modules. Each module is 250 kilowatts. So this is a 1 megawatt UPS. So we have 3 of them here. We have 1, 2 and we have a third one here worth of units which are all 500 kV units and we have six of this on the floor. In the older data centers where we had the lead acid batteries, a huge amount of batteries, uh, 11,000, 12,000 batteries, we needed a guy who would go full time with the multimeter and actually check the voltages. Here it's all done automatically and this information is sent to the BMS room and these are all hot pluggable. If I want to change a battery, I just pull it out and then I can replace it without shutting down the system here. These are our own load banks and these are all 10 kilowatt load banks. This is like a rack. So on day one, we put 800 of these across the floor and it is as if we had 800 customer racks with us. And these are all connected to the UPS systems through the PDUs. And we do the testing over a period of six to eight days. So what happens is uh, we are able to test the entire power system and also the cooling system. So we send it down to the utility power, we switch off the utility power and see what the generators take on. After the generator kicks in, we switch off the generator and see whether the backup generators kick in. We switch off the backup and see whether the UPS now is able to hold the load on the batteries for 10 minutes. 
So we'll do all sort of uh, combinations with this. The air, these are nothing but coils here. You can see the coils here. So a lot of hot air comes from here. And when all these load banks are switched on, the air becomes quite hot. And this hot air goes from the top here. It goes out. It gets onto your Pahu machines, which is this outside. Gets cooled and again comes from under the floor. So not only are we testing the electricals, but we are also testing the cooling by the time we finish this 8 or 10 days of testing.